What's going on guys? I'm back with another Forza Horizon 5 video. This time it is all about the Rally Adventure expansion we recently got. I've been having a blast playing it and I'm going to give you five cars I think you should be using for dirt racing in the Rally Adventure expansion. All the footage I'm going to show is just going to be from random Horizon open dirt racing sessions. So I'll show bits and pieces from a race using each of the tunes and cars I'm going to be sharing in this video. So let's get started. We're going to kick things off with a car I think you should be using for B700 dirt racing in the Rally Adventure expansion. That is the 1973 Ford Escort RS 1600. The tune I am showing off in this video is called B700 Rally V2. I'll show it on screen as well as the share code. If you watched my previous Horizon Open recommendation videos, I made, this, uh, made a tune for this, the original B700 Rally tune. For Horizon Open and the regular map of Forza Horizon 5. And this thing absolutely destroys. The only downside is if you get like some of the scramble events, you gotta go through heavy water, it can definitely kind of lose some speed and momentum. And some of the heavier like truck or SUV type vehicles can kind of do a little better. But overall, it's a very, very good car then. And it's uh, I, the tune I made for it right now is even better. Uh, I incorporated the new anti-lag turbo system that was applied uh, with the update they recently put out in conjunction with the expansion. So it, it, just, it does get a little bit better acceleration, it's a little quicker off the line, there's not much, a little slow, you know, uh, as lag, turbo lag, so it kind of, it gets going a little easier. It is about a mile per hour slower, but like I said, acceleration in general is better, especially in the lower RPM ranges, so I think you will definitely enjoy this car. Uh, I've kind of had some bad luck trying to find some B700 uh, Horizon Open dirt racing sessions, but I did find a couple and I'm showing that off right now. This thing, this is a one-on-one -on -one against a guy using the Sierra 700R and this thing, uh, it beat it pretty easily. That guy definitely probably had more speed than me, but I was able to maneuver just a little bit better. Another big difference uh, that separates this from my uh, first tune for this car is I made the suspension just a little bit better. It kind of handles the rougher terrain a little bit more. There's a lot of bumpy, uneven terrain and uh, this expansion in the setting for it. So it's kind of like the Montagna Trail in the original Horizon 5 map. It's similar to that. There's a lot of bumpiness, so I kind of tried to tune it a little bit better to work with that. So uh, I think I did a pretty decent job. This car is very, very fun. Even if you're not doing Horizon Open, if you're just doing regular campaign races, this thing will definitely do the job for the B700 class of dirt racing. I think you should be using it. If you're not, you're insane. So stop wasting time. Next up, we're going to shift into the A800 category. And my first car for that is going to be the 2001 Ford Focus RS WRC. I was very, very excited they put this car in the game. I love this car in real life. It's one of my favorite rally cars of all time. I have a die cast model of it from a different year. And uh, every time I've had a Ford Focus RS, in the Horizon series, I've put on a similar livery from around the same time that Kyle McRae drove the Ford Focus RS. I love this car so much. Uh, very, very good car. The two, I actually made two tunes for this. One is called 800 Rally, one is called 800 Rally V2. I'll show those on the screen as well as the share codes. The footage you are seeing is from the first tune. It's kind of more top speed oriented. I actually made that because I kind of wanted to have it go uh, more as a general dirt racing car for the original Horizon map. So that's kind of why it's a little bit more powerful. It's heavier, but it's a little bit more powerful. So uh, I kind of, I went with that and it was okay in the Rally Adventure Horizon Open, but I decided to make the second one. It handles a little bit better. You take off some weight and you do lose a little bit of power, but overall you have more grip. You have thicker tires on it. Kind of, it just maneuvers a little bit better. But both tunes are very good. If you're doing Horizon Open, you, you're probably going to be successful unless you run into the broken people using the Maseratis or the bone shakers of the world those those kind of people that don't want to have fun playing this game But uh either way this thing this car either tune you can do well in Horizon Open as you'll see by the footage And it's also very very good for the campaign races as well That's kind of how I did my initial test for it very very fun car again I'm super pumped they added this to the game and I can't wait to keep driving it if you're not driving it You're doing it a service to yourself and the whole world for that matter this car is fantastic. I definitely recommend downloading one of these tunes. Get out there and be like Kyle McRae. If in doubt, flat out, go in some rally races with this car. We're going to stay in the 800 range for this one as well. The car I'm showcasing is the 2017 Ford Rahal Letterman Lanigan GRC Fiesta. 
It's a very cool car driven by Austin Dine in the Global Rallycross Championship back in 2017. Albeit I put a Tanner Faust livery on it to kind of mimic the car he drove a few years prior. But it doesn't matter. That, the delivery doesn't make it fast. What makes it fast is the tune I made for it. And that tune is called 800 Rally. I'll show that as well as the share code on the screen right now. While this thing might not be quite as fast as the Ford Focus I just recommended. This thing definitely handles better. I think it is one of, if not the best, handling 800 car in the Rally Monster category on dirt. This is very, very good. Like I said, not the fastest car in the world, but just the handling is so good. It's definitely going to make up for the lack of speed in most cases. You're going to be successful with it in Horizon Open if you're not going against the, the broken doodad cars out there that I've mentioned before. It's those, ugh, I hate those people who use those broken cars. But uh, if, even if you're not doing Horizon Open campaign races, this thing is very, very good. You can put down some good times with it. Uh, crank up that difficulty to unbeatable and you can probably still beat uh, the, the the fastest posted times with this car handles so well very very fun to drive and it's a damn good looking car it is based off my favorite rally car ever the Ford Fiesta Mark 7 if you're not using this you're also insane because you need to be using this damn thing don't use it for S1 though it's not very good for S1 but for 800 it's very very good I definitely recommend you give this tune a go. Just go out there and let this car drive itself because that's basically what it's going to be doing. You're going to have a blast using this car. You're going to be successful using this car. And you're going to look good using this car. So go pause this video right now, download this tune, come back and watch the rest of the video. I'm going to wrap up the 800 recommendations with, I think, the best 800 dirt racing vehicle in the game. That is a 2022 Extreme E truck. The one I'm showing off in the video is the McLaren Racing one driven by Tanner Faust and Emma Gilmore in real life. The tune I made for it, I'll show it on screen right now, it is called Dirt Racing. It's very, very good. This is my answer to all those bums using the broken Maseratis, bone shakers, and all that stuff that I keep mentioning. This thing is so, so good. I think it's been underused since it came out, since we got the update that put these vehicles in the game. They've been underused. I think it's very, very phenomenal. It might be kind of bigger. You do have to kind of watch uh, where you get some kind of the tighter, trickier sections so you don't slam into the walls. But this thing does everything. Top speed's not going to be a problem because there's not really super high speed long sections in the dirt racing trails or circuits in, uh, in the Rally Adventure expansion. But the lightning fast acceleration with that electric motor, instant torque, phenomenal brakes, this general handling is great. You can't really beat it. I think it's just, it's just perfect. Once you kind of get used to how the instant torque works and all that power that's available instantly, if you can kind of get used to that and just hone it, it's 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 you can't be you can't be beaten in this thing. I just can't stress enough how good this thing is. It does everything right. It's so so good. Just go download this thing right now. Go download one of these tunes I'm recommending. Even if you don't have the McLaren Racing version, I do have a tune for it under the same name for the Andretti Autosport Extreme E truck as well. If you don't have them, I'm sure you can probably find them on the auction house or something like that. Go download these tunes. Go kick some ass in Horizon Open. Go beat those bums using the stupid cars and save the planet at the same time by using an electric vehicle. Go do it now. We're going to wrap things up here with a recommendation for S1 Dirt Racing in the Rally Adventure Expansion. And the car I'm showing off is a 1986 Hoonigan Ford R200 Evolution. Ken Block's favorite car in real life when he was alive, God rest his soul. The tune I made for it, I will show it on screen right now, it is called S1 Rally. I will also show the share code. I kind of wanted to have some sort of uh, tribute, homage to him, and I kind of threw everything I could at this car to make it as competitive as possible. I think it definitely pays off. I don't know if it's the best S1 car for Horizon Open racing, but just in general, it's very, very good. And even in Horizon Open, you can still be successful. As you can see in the footage, I just completely obliterate the competition. Uh, having the anti-lag turbo system incorporated for this car as well definitely made it a little better. I think it does everything well. It is a little rocky over the tough terrain, but I kind of did that by design because I want it to be uh, a lot more planted on the pavement surface as well. This car is, was mainly uh, made for the regular Forza Horizon 5 map dirt racing, but it's also very, very good for this as well. It's not going to be that big of an issue getting over the bumpy terrain and all that stuff as long as you kind of point the car in the right direction and don't overdrive. Very, very fun car. Lightning fast acceleration, great brakes, speed is there. It's, it does pretty much everything. So I think if you use this for S1 racing, you're going to be making Ken Block happy and you're going to be doing yourself a favor because you're going to be kicking some ass in this thing. Uh, very, very fun car to drive. One of the coolest cars in real life and one of the coolest cars in these Horizon games. 
I think in Forza Horizon 4, this thing was the best S1 dirt car in that game. It's definitely up there in this game as well, among the top of the pack for S1 dirt racing. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you give these tunes a go, because I think you will enjoy the Rally Adventure expansion even more using these things. I'm definitely going to stick to dirt racing right now. I might make future videos covering the more of the mixed surface and the asphalt racing in the Rally Adventure expansion. We will see. No promises. I'm definitely going to stick to dirt racing for now, though. I just want to get this video out there, kind of make up for uh, the not having the trial video I usually have every week since there's another stock showdown event. And it's been a while since I've made a Horizon Open video or any kind of recommendation videos. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Leave a like on the video if you did and if it helped you out. Subscribe if you want more videos like this. Leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about my recommendations. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.